What is up YouTube? Uh, today is the day that I finally get to reveal the completed 5x10 DIY camper. So here she is in all its glory. Uh, about three months in the making. Uh, it was a really, really fun, fun project. I learned a lot during it. Um, there were some struggles, but nothing too crazy. So what I'm gonna do now is try to just take you guys, just walk around the outside, walk around the inside, try to go over in as much detail as I can without making this video too long. Um, some of the things that I used uh, and just things like that, just to give you a good overview of actually what this camper is, if this is the first video that you've seen. Um, if it is, go back and look at my channel. I've got the whole build series on my, on my channel that you can take a look at. But um, with that guys, let's take a look at it. Okay, so again, this is a five by 10 trailer. Uh, technically, it is a five and a half foot wide by 10 foot trailer. And this outer skin is called MDO. It is basically what your billboards are made out of. It's completely waterproof type ply, uh, plywood. Um, all of these doors and the windows came from Vintage Technologies. I did replace the tires on this trailer to some uh, bigger size, 225 75 15s just to get the the weight ratio just to, so this trailer could handle a little bit more weight i did replace all of the trailer lights with led lights you know this this trailer came standard with uh just your standard incandescent lights um underneath i went ahead and bought these uh scissor jack stabilizer these have been an absolute game changer. Uh, I can't believe I'd, I tried to keep my trailer stabilized without these things, but you just put a three quarter inch socket on a drill and these things lower and raise and they stay on the trailer. So I don't have to, for, I don't forget them. Always there, absolutely amazing. These things have been great. So moving around to the back, got the back hatch put in. This also came from Vintage Technologies. Um, all of these lights, the brake lights, all of the exterior lights, um, I'll put all the links that I can think of that I bought everything from Amazon, really. I'll put all the links in the description below. Um, if, if I don't put anything in there you guys are curious about, just shoot me a comment. Um, I'm sure I'm gonna miss a few things, but so be it. So again, nothing new on this side. Got my AC box, got my digital um, TV antenna output right there that when I, you know, I can plug in a digital TV antenna here that goes through this wall and into my TV on the inside. Got the RV fan, ceiling fan installed. So that's pretty much it guys for the outside. Um, not, not a whole lot to go over. Uh, the paint that I used was a Valspar exterior grade paint. And unfortunately I could not use the top, I wanted to the top of the line, you know, most durable exterior paint, but I guess due to COVID and the supply chain issues, they didn't have the base for the top of the line exterior paint available at any Lowe's anywhere near me. 
So I had to kind of downgrade, but I think we'll still be fine. I use two coats mostly on the whole top, sides, back, and front. So I think we'll be okay, along with Valspar exterior primer underneath everything. So I think we'll be okay there. So let me take you guys inside, show you what it looks like. Okay, so here we are the inside. Got my TV mounted. Keep my ThermoPro digital thermometer, Bluetooth thermometer there so I can kind of monitor the temperature fluctuations via my phone. Sorry, that door's a little squeaky. Uh, and then up here you can see I installed a couple of puck lights, all 12 volt. Up here I've got my cabinets and luckily I found that these 50 caliber ammo uh, containers fit absolutely perfect in there. I can fit six more on the other side, but right now I've just got my, you know, rope and string and some knives, some flashlights, uh, media cables and adapters for the kids, for the TV when we go camping. Um, I'm sure this is all going to change once we actually, you know, start camping a little bit more, but down here you can see how I trimmed out my AC unit and that is a 5,000 BTU GE and I've done a test on that and that thing gets cold. And stepping on in here, and up here in this cabinet, uh, I've just got, you know, some spare batteries. Um, this is going to be, this is a, a dehumidifier that I'm going to use when we run the heater to try to eliminate some of the condensation. And I also did buy some of these dehumidif dehumidifier bags that I'm going to hang up back there behind the cabinet. Got some extra blankets up there. Um, got my my 12 volt panel with USBs and cigarette style charging up here. I've got my 350 watt as seen on TV heater that works pretty darn well. Um, that's plugged in, ready to go. And then up here, I've got my max fan uh, ceiling vent and this works as a vent and as a ceiling fan. So it works both ways. It'll, it'll, the fan will, will, will rotate. The fan will reverse uh, if needed. If we need air coming in, perfect. If we need to vent air out, perfect. So, and I have a feeling with two kids and two dogs and me, we're gonna need to vent some air out pretty often. So that's good to have. Um, and then moving around here, you can see right now I've got the tri-fold mattress. This is a full, I mean, I'm sorry, this is a queen mattress and it fits perfectly edge to edge and it is obviously folded up and it kind of functions as a couch right now. And we just got some, you know, pillows and some blankets stuffed up there. I have not put the bunk bed portion up, but there will be a latch right here on top of this section and coming down this wall on both sides. That's going to act as the bunk bed for the kids. And then up top, you can see I've got a few more things I do have to get done. I've got to get some trim up here, but that's pretty much it. So I'm calling this camper done. So, and then these, you know, of course these windows are sliding to allow venting in here. I got one of these little battery operated light switches because I mean, you can't ever have too many lights. And then got the carbon monoxide detector, got a little LED push light. And this would, this is my, my main dome ceiling light, but I don't have the, the camper actually plugged in so I can't turn it on, but this is the main light for the interior. So, and this is me sitting back on the, on the couch, plenty of room. I'm six foot two and you can see my, I've got quite a bit of room in front of me, especially when I open up the mattress, I got about two feet in front of the end of the mattress to the head wall. So we got plenty of foot space enough to let the dog sleep, hopefully, but overall that's, that's kind of the, that, this is the camper guys. And one thing that I didn't show you is the back and guys don't make fun of me cause this is still a work in progress, but. This is kind of all of the storage that I have right now. So got my 12 volt cooler, some propane, isobutane, coffee maker, of course, camping chairs. Um, and when we go on our first camping trip, I'll actually kind of go through my, my loadout, everything that I have in here, because I'm sure that'll change, but. So guys, that is it. If you followed along the journey with this camper build, I, I highly, truly, really appreciate it. So overall, I'm really happy with, uh, with the final outcome. I think it's gonna be great for me and the family and the dogs. I think it's gonna get us out more, hopefully. 
and I think it was just a good investment to have for our family. So if you guys have any questions about anything that I did on this thing, um, just shoot me a comment, let me know. I'm here to help. I used YouTube during the build of this to help me out. So if you guys are in the process of doing the same thing, I'll be happy to help if I can. So with that guys, this is my five by 10 DIY square drop camper and thanks for following along. See you soon.